on All-Terrain Nation. Today on the show, we're going to look at the Z71 Colorado, the 2023 Z71 Colorado, and I'm pretty excited by this one. Now, I've done other videos, and I will link them above. We've done the, uh, you know, we did the uh, the big boy. We did the ZR2 package, and uh, that's a lot of truck, but there's a little bit of price included with that, and, you know, might be a little more than some people need. And then we've looked at the middle trim vehicles, you know, the Trail Boss, which I think is probably the best value in off-road mid-sized truck right now. Right now, because, you know, Toyota and a few others are coming out with uh, some fun things for the 23-24 the model year. So I'm, uh, I can't say just which is one is going to be my favorite just yet, but I think the, uh, I think the Chevrolet right now is uh, that's a hell of a design, and I like it. So let's jump into this. Let's pull this up here, and we will go from there. As you can see, we are on the Chevrolet website. This is the all-new 2023 Colorado website, and uh, let's go. You know, as you can see here, we've selected. We don't want the 22s. We want the, the build and specs for the 23. So we're going to hit this build and price. First off, we got the crew cab. We know 30695 That is all you can get with this truck. There is no uh, not a lot of uh, body options to this thing. So uh, four-wheel drive will be clicked because I always click a four-wheel drive. And, you know, if you want a work truck, maybe down the road I will look at this. But for $33,000, this is probably not a bad package, though. You know, 237 horsepower. I know you can bump it up, but. I, I need all the horses I can get. So, uh, but right here, Z71, right here. I'm going to click this. And we're going to start at 41395 Now, if you look at the uh, Trail Boss at 38495 you might go, wow, that's uh, that's a pretty big increase. But I think you're going to get a few more plushes. I think there's some uh, some nicer lights you're going to get. And there's a, you are getting some things for it. And if you want to go all the way to the big guy, you know, 48000 But for right now, we are going to stick with this Z71. Now, as always, we got to go through the colors first, man. I think colors really can determine what, you know, your your approach to the vehicle, what you want from it. Do you want an exciting looking truck or you just like more subdued? You know, there's nothing wrong with that. But we've got Summit White. We've got Black. we got Sterling Gray Metallic, which is shown right now. Harvest Bronze Metallic. Let's click that because I think this is actually a pretty nice color. Uh, Sand Dune Metallic. If you want that kind of military overland look, we've got the nitro yellow metallic for $395. Now, I think with the Z71, that might be a little too loud. I think if you're going for, you know, the uh, ZR2 package, you want a loud, exciting color. But maybe for the classy Z71, maybe not so much. But who knows? You know, let us know in the comments below. $395 will get you this glacier blue metallic. And for $495, have a little bit more, you can get this cool red, uh, radiant red red tint coat now i like honestly i like all these colors you know you can always go with the murdered out kind of stealth looking truck that is and the, the way the body panels for black especially these these real lines man they look really good love the steps back there as well i've already chose white on one of my builds and i've already chose you know the nitro yellow so you know we're not going to do that and this is a z71 man i don't want to scare the neighbors with this color so what would you do in the comments below which one would you do now i don't want to do i will tell you this right now we're taking these upcharge paints out because we already know this is an expensive truck but i think i'm gonna go with the sand dune metallic that's right now that's a little different different for me i don't normally go for these kind of colors but we're trying to say we're cool but not not overly you know we don't want to go too crazy so uh let's get in next to uh wheels and as you can see here it comes with the 18 inch uh android dark Wow, call it an Android? That's weird. Next, what? Is the next one going to be an Apple? Uh, but this is an 18-inch wheel, and uh, it's okay looking. I'll be honest, it's not like my favorite. But if you look over here, let's pull. Let me pull this up so we can all play along here. But if you go, uh, you pull this up. You know, it says there's a 20 inch. I'm not big on 20s for trucks. I the more the more sidewall you can get, the better the ride, in my opinion, is going to be. Um, but 20 inch that is a good looking wheel but as you can see right here requires a package and uh let's click this and see what it says um and you know classic classic uh website for any manufacturer just might require more uh thanks i think uh but tires looks like we get a few options for tires now we got the 18 inch uh this is what it says 18 inch to 265 65 18 all terrain black wall 32 inch tire now uh that looks like it's probably a good year if i remember right those are like a good year tire on that thing um but it's weird so we got a 17 inch here you got the 18 inch you can click now what okay we've got the uh, this is a little strange 17 so we're going to definitely uh we want to see this one here so we click that uh will it change over probably not let's see let's click this one okay nothing's going to happen I respect that. All right. So uh, I definitely want a little bit of more of aggressive tire because I do like an aggressive truck tire. I, I don't want anything that's uh, no street tire for me. 
Now, the interior of this truck, I've said it before and I'll say it again. I think this is a very nice, well laid out interior. I like the fact, you know, obviously the bucket seats up front, but I like how they actually have a, a just a kind of a shifter. There's something about just, you know, you want to like engage. Now, some of them are going to these little like almost mouse pad deals. And I, for one, I'm not, I don't want the mouse pad. I, I you know, I, I don't want the little, uh, I want to feel like it's a truck, man. I want to feel like I'm really, I'm engaging this thing. So, uh, you know, that's just my opinion of it. So, uh, go from there. But, uh, I do like the dash of this thing. I like the, uh, the red stitching in that. That's pretty nice. Now, I don't know if that red stitching, if I want that for the paint color I've chosen, but I don't think you really get much of an option with this. But center stack of this thing's really nice. You are getting a little bit plushed out a steering wheel versus some of the lower trims. Uh, big night. Not, not 19 big nice radio in this thing uh still pretty plain though you know it's a z71 package so we're not going too crazy but uh let's see what we got here we got the jet black adrenaline red cloth evotech seats which uh I already selected on this uh, do we get another option on this let's see okay yeah we can look around here okay so those those digital camo seats are okay but I, this is the one thing i will say i've seen in a lot of their higher trims that chevrolet's doing right now too much of that let's save these for the uh the zr2 package you know the higher the fun packages the z71 to me should be more of a classic you know oh no okay i'll say old guy like me an old guy package it doesn't want to go be too crazy but you know you want a nice solid looking vehicle uh but they do look great don't get me wrong and once again you can see all the stitching up here with that it looks great i do like uh, i do like the little uh, stitching in there that looks pretty nice uh let's see uh, there's our our view there again but uh overall it's not bad looking but what is uh what is our perth related if i could say it leather seats gonna look like oh to do that, we're going to have to be added into a package. And I don't want to do that just yet, so we're going to leave that alone. What's the seat type? All right, front bucket seats, as you can see. we got got uh, eight-way power uh, driver seats that we can get. Now, these are, and once again, these are, I think, for a uh, somebody that wants more luxury packages. This is definitely what you want. Um, this one right here just boggles my mind. Let's see if they'll show it here. I don't understand if I can find it. They've probably hit it all the way in the back. The it's not even in there. Why? Why the uh, I need a map pocket? I don't know, but uh, they're using it as an option, I guess, because it's hard to get many options in these things anymore. But it looks like you can get a red leather or red uh, seat belt, you know, matching color of the, all the stitching. No, thank you for fifty bucks. No, I have you know no need for that. Or you can do the uh, matching materials and color uh but you know i'm good right now i don't want to choose any of these packages just yet because i have a feeling something back here i'm going to want and it's going to force me into that so enhance your driving experience safety package uh you're going to get rear park assist a uh, rear cross traffic braking blind zone steering assist which is a pretty nice package advanced trailing package is going to include the uh the integrated trailer brake controller and uh the app and the trailer package so uh, let me click that real quick i'm curious what it says uh so there you can see there is your brake controller for your brake your braking and all that that's pretty nice i like how they've hidden it some of them like to do that in the center consoles and i'm just not about that i, I kind of like it to the side where it's not an everyday look uh the trailering app here you can see the app which i have no no desire for that uh the trailer package includes a two inch receiver hitch with four pin and seven pin connector uh may require additional optional uh equipment so uh i don't know on that so i don't want to i don't click that just yet uh it's a pickup truck so I, you know i i somebody made a comment in one of my last build and prices that uh they didn't think it included the uh the receiver hitch if you didn't get into that package which if it doesn't, shame on you, GM. You should make that very specific uh, about that. But, uh, you know, I may, it may be something I've missed, too. Now, technology package, adaptive cruise control, rear pedestrian alert, and HD surround vision. Now, the HD surround vision, I will say, is their high-end cameras. And their high-end cameras, I will say, they're high end, the very crisp. I mean, it's it's almost better than looking into a mirror, as crazy as that sounds. It's, it's super high def on that. And so I do kind of like that. I'm not going to lie. I do kind of like that. Uh, but for $950, I don't know that I want adaptive cruise control. Now, this is a truck for me, the Z71. I'm probably never lifting. This isn't, I'm building this for the ultimate off-road rig, something I would like to go take and have fun with. But uh, I'm still not for a truck. I'm not, 
I don't know. I'm, I'm, let me know. Are you guys into adaptive cruise control? Is that something that you'd like me to kind of cover more? But we do get a, looks like we get a flex utility package, cargo tie downs with rings and the reconfigurable bed and all that, which almost should be standard, but it's a $1,395 uh, uh, upcharge and flexible off-road splash guards, which no, I, I, I would pull that stuff off my truck. Uh, convenience package three. Let's uh, let's show all nine features of this because these are the packages I like. You're going to get the uh, driver memory uh, settings, so the seat settings, which is something me and Kelly, we fight over. We both like a completely different driving position, so I get that. Um, rear center armrest, which this boggles my mind why this is now an option in trucks, but uh, used to not be, but now it is. I guess, uh, you know, it's a way to uh, make your, you know, there's so much, you're getting so much in trucks anymore. You got to make some optional packages. So uh, I'm okay with that. Uh, rear, there it is, the map pocket pocket there. What? I'm that boggles me, man. That one just boggles me. Uh, and here is the leather you know, trim. So I knew it was going to, if we want this package, it's definitely going to put you in that, but those ventilated seats, I'm telling you really nice, uh, heated steering wheel. I'm, if this is a truck that I'm driving back and forth to work every day, there's little things in, uh, unless you're living down towards the coast, you know, down in the Florida or Texas where you, you probably would rarely use your heated steering wheel. I want heated steering wheel all the time. I'm telling you, if you've never had it and once you get it, you're going to understand. You're never going to want to be without it. So uh, this package may be on my list. Um, here we're getting the uh, front and uh, the driver and front passenger seats. So they're going to be cool or in hot weather. Uh, these ventilated seat cushions and setbacks. Separate buttons for the climate controls, as you can see. There is the uh, the vents for those or the buttons for those. Based on the vehicle's interior temperature, the uh, ventilated seats will automatically turn on, which I have to admit, that's pretty cool. Like that, you know, you just may all of a sudden be driving and didn't realize you were getting hot and there's kick in. You're like, damn, that was nice. This truck's thinking for me. Uh, you're going to get that rear park assist with this package. The rear cross uh, traffic braking, which I will say, I said this in one of my other videos, I live where my driveway is. I got a sidewalk that goes right through it. And I've had people with their, their pets or something that I was backing up and I didn't catch it in my peripheral. The truck stopped me. That I'm telling you, that is a nice safety, uh, nice safety feature, especially if you have kids that like to play outside. I'm, I'm telling you, that's a, that's a pretty nice feature. And you can't put for your, your family safety for 14, 15. That's, you know, safety is number one for me. Uh, so with uh, the Z71 convenience package three, you're going to get the leather appointed seating, the driver's seat back pocket, rear center armrest, driver's memory seats, ventilated front seats, heated steering wheel, safety package, but it may require more, more equipment. I guarantee it puts us in the two as well. Let's see what happens. Yep. So uh, let's see. We'll also make changes. So it's going to put us with this. Why is the tailgate keyed cylinder lock? This right here. Why is that? A, why is that a? That's like the armrest to me. These used to be like things you just expected. Now you got to pay for them. Kind of crazy to me. Uh, but you're gonna get the manual tilting steering wheel. Well, once again, that's pretty nice. Wireless charging with, uh, you know, every phone now seems to be going wireless charging. Why have cables everywhere? Honestly, it might be just for a safety reason, too. You've got cables. You go to grab your phone. Just something, you know, gets in your way and you cause an accident. So uh, there's this heated steering wheel, all that. The lumbar control is what's going to do. Uh, let's see. So it's going to put us in the uh, eight-way driver seats. Man, a lot of it. there. That is a nice, I will say that is a nice, that's a nice system. I do like the dual zone there uh remote start i'm telling you i love remote start i can sit here right now start my vehicle outside love it i even have the app for it i don't know if gm's going to do that or not but i'm sure they do so uh let's go ahead and select that which once again i knew it was going to do it so it's going to force you into this two and three so if you thought just 14 or 1415 you were going to get dinged no no you're going to get double dinged for that which is okay these are, this is a, a truck that I'm going to daily and I'm going to need, you know, I want to feel comfortable in it. So let's hit summary and see what the, uh, what the magic eight ball says. So there is that beautiful looking kind of tannish truck Z 71 four wheel drive package. You can see the red tow hooks there, which I think look great. Uh, nice interior in this thing. I think I could live with this truck for a long time. So 44,435, uh, we started out at a standard price is 39,900. Uh, the paint was no upcharge. Uh, the wheels, nothing about that right now was upcharge. Uh, let's see what else we got. Interior, all this was standard. Till we get to the packages, we got a safety package that it forced us into. We got the convenience three package that I wanted, which we had to have the, the two. It's just how math works, man. You got to go two to three. 
Uh, but there's a lot. There's three thousand dollars in up charges right there. Any optionals right here? We are going to get that eleven point three uh, diagonal advanced color LED display screen with Google built in. But I think when you get to your dealership, you're going to find out you're only getting that Google built in for about ninety days, and then you're going to find out oh that costs you extra, which is one of the things that I don't like that General Motors is doing. They're playing with these loop crate packages right now where a uh, scratch and sniff i guess if i guess it were but we are getting that big uh two seven you know it's a four cylinder but you are getting 310 ponies in that thing which is very nice tilt uh tilt wheel the wireless charging which i think is a plus the uh, remote start which i just talked about and uh wow this is the the creme de la creme right here we're getting the uh the tailgate with a you know optional key but all in all 14.95 for the delivery fees and that is going to put us at forty four thousand four hundred and thirty five dollars you can see here 310 horsepower 391 foot pounds of torque at 2000 rpms we that is four wheel drive and we're getting a hell of a vehicle so let's uh scroll back up here and let's click this one more time that is a good looking truck to me i could definitely live daily with that truck in the comments below let me know what you think is this something that daily does the z71 do you just need sort of a you know a nice Nice off-road truck, but nothing too crazy. I think the Z71 is for you. Or if you uh, you want a little more thrills, a little more lifted, you might look at the Trail Boss because you're going to get a lot of these features, uh, maybe a little bit lesser uh, options and some, like the headlights and some of that. But you're going to get a uh, pretty beefy truck. So uh, there you go, man. So whether it be two-wheel drive, four-wheel drive, the Z71, I'd really like to drive. Hey, Jim, need a press trip. This has been your All Terrain Nation. I'm your host, David Boyd. We're out. Peace, everybody. Love y'all.